This is Jerry with JNS Precision Ag Plus, and today we're going to go over how to make a boundary on an Ag Leader 1200 display. And this will be very similar on the 800 display as well. The older monitors like the Integras, this would do it as well. There is some features in the 1200s and the 800s, the in command lineup that have a little bit easier to use, but not, not much still basically the same. So this can apply to those as well. So the easiest thing to do on the home screen is to just hit guidance. And I say that because on guidance, there's no modules or anything. So, you know, I'm just out here in a Polaris Ranger. You can use a tractor, you can use a pickup, you can use a side-by-side -side four-wheeler. It, it doesn't matter. It's whatever's easiest for you. Just don't do it while you're doing a field operation. That makes it extra challenging. So we are under guidance. We're gonna hit the blue arrow to the right. Okay, so we are in a uh, field that I already have a boundary on, but for the sake of it, we're just sitting in the lot of our office. So for this first one, uh, the grower is JNS. I'm gonna hit the green plus for the farm name, and we're gonna call this office. And then for the field, I'm gonna call it west. So we're in the west lot. So growers, JNS, farm, office, field, west. We're gonna hit the green check. Okay, this is something that just always pops up, guidance pattern. We don't really need the guidance pattern, so we're gonna exit out of that. So on the, this is what we would call the run screen. So over on the left-hand side, you have all of your tabs. There's five tabs. You're gonna to wanna to hit the right here with the boundary. It's the third one up, third one's middle, third up, third down. And we're gonna select boundary. Okay, so under boundary, there's, there's nothing in this farm and field. We just created this field. So we're gonna hit the green plus. And as you can tell, the outer boundary is the only thing you can hit. Inner boundary is grayed out. You have to have an outer boundary before you can make an inner. Probably makes sense that way. So with the older models, like the Integras, they basically just had a left and right direction. Well, with the end command, we now have forward and backward. So you, in my, my Ranger, as an example, I have the receiver mounted smack dab in the middle of the cab because we have auto steer on this. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna go put an offset in. So I want this to be two foot to the left. So it's basically now the receiver is over my head and maybe to the left just a little bit, okay? And then I wanna move it forward. So if you wanna square up a corner post or something, I'm gonna move it three foot forward. So then it thinks the receiver is two foot to the left and three foot forward. And then I'm gonna hit my green check. Now another key aspect when you hit that green check is I am already lined up where I need to be. So I have the ranger positioned right on the edge of the field and then we're able to take off because where you start this is where it's gonna go. So we're gonna take off here. And as you can see, we are starting to make a line I'm going to curve around the edge here. And then we're about to approach a corner. And I'm gonna square this corner up. So I'm gonna stop. And instead of hitting the stop, you hit the pause. Okay, so it's paused. So now I'm gonna get lined up facing another direction here. And don't worry about backing up to the corner. Just get lined back up and go on ahead. As you can see, I'm away from where I hit pause, but watch, I'm gonna hit play and it's gonna snap a line there, just like that. See how it snapped a line? Another key thing is as we're driving, you know, let's say you're along a fence row and a tree fell over. Well, don't drive around the tree because you're probably gonna get it cleaned up. Go ahead and pause it, drive around it, get lined back up again, hit play, it'll snap through that tree 
waterways are the same way. You know, if it's, if it's a farmable waterway and there's a ditch that you don't want to drive your vehicle through, pause it, go around it, hit play, and it'll bring it all back together, okay? So now I'm almost back to where I started. Key is don't, don't run that over. Don't overlap, don't back up while it's still in play. You don't wanna do that. It, it'll mess the boundary up. So since I'm close, I did not drive to where I exactly was. I stopped a little bit beforehand and I hit stop. And I'm gonna save this boundary. And it'll show you the boundary size. I'm gonna hit the green check. Okay, with that being said, when you hit stop, that is, that is now this boundary. Now, there are certain fields that you may have a waterway that runs from one end to the other end. It basically splits the field in half. You will do one side of that waterway just like we did, and then maybe I go to the other side of it and I'll hit boundary again I'll hit the green plus, and now we have an option to do an inner boundary, but you would make another outer boundary, put in your two foot to the left, three foot forward, and you would go create that boundary. So you would have, you know, two boundaries under one farm and field. These boundaries are categorized under the grower farm and field. So you can have as many boundaries as you want within that field. Uh, if, if this was the only thing we would have, then we would go in and change the field. So you'd go to field. If this was the only boundary within that field, you would make another one, go in there, create a new outer boundary, and just keep building off of that. For the sake of the video, I'm going to go in here and I am going to hit a new boundary and I'm going to make an inner boundary. And what makes an inner boundary is treat it like an island. So if a waterway comes all the way to the edge of a field, it becomes part of the outer boundary. So you would work that in. And, and I say that as if it doesn't go all the way and touch the other side. If it touches the other side, you know, like I said, if it splits the field, then you would make two outer boundaries. But if the waterway just goes up a hill a little ways and comes right back down, you're just gonna drive around that as you do the outer boundary and then get right back into it. An inner boundary is a true island. It could be a terrace that you want to mark. It could be a grass strip that's out in the middle of the field. That is what truly is an inner boundary. I am only going to do a left offset. So I'm just gonna go do a two foot offset to the left. I'm gonna hit my green check and I am ready to do this. So I'm gonna start driving this inner boundary. Now I'm going to get close to my original starting point here and I'm not going to drive over it and I'm going to hit my stop. I'm going to save this and now we have an inner boundary that's tied in with our outer boundary. So just some key things to take away in all this. Before, when you're going through your farm and field, as you do this, there's our boundary now. So we're in our, we're in our field. When you make that boundary, when you first create the boundary and you put your offsets in, when you hit this green check at the bottom, make sure you're lined up where you're ready to start. So get in the habit when you first start to do that. Another thing, if this is your first time doing boundaries, Try to go to a small field. That way, if you do make a mistake, it's not like you spent all this time and now you gotta do it all over again. You know, get a feel of it. I think this video should hopefully make it a lot easier for you to follow along and kind of have a good idea how to do it before you start. But you do those things. Don't, don't run over where you've already driven. And also don't back up while it's still in play. So hit the pause button if you're if you're unsure, you can always just hit pause, get lined up where you need to go, and you can hit resume and it'll snap that line over. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at the office, 319-456-2150 for any questions. Thanks for watching.